FNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. This is the 4 p.m. market update. Uh, I mean, look at the chart for the E-mini. I mean, it says it all right there, right? We had kind of just upward movement on no volume whatsoever, kind of sideways for the last few minutes there of the uh, last hour, and then pop up right there on some big volume. Uh, pretty interesting way. Still just closing up roughly about 0.6%. Those Russell futures up about 0.29% as well. And the NQs up nearly a full uh, percent right there. The Dow futures 0.42 and the Dow itself up 0.41 as well. Gold contracts completely flat. Silver up about 0.73. And then copper trading at 442 up about 0.23%. Uh, crude oil finishing right around 83 bucks. Guys, if you missed the last, uh, well, you missed the show, uh, we had a few segments with Tim Ord of the Ord Oracle. Strongly recommend it. checking that out. You can go to our YouTube channel. It's Tiger Financial News Network. And uh, it should be up by the end of the day. Go ahead and give that video a like and subscribe. It helps us out immensely. Now, uh, you know, sometimes I talk a little bit about whatever's going on, like maybe in the realm of science or something. We'll talk about Eli Lilly a, a little bit, okay? I'm going to not put this on today. Whatever. Put on your today just to see what's going on generally with it. Trading at 9.06. The FDA approves a second Alzheimer's drug that can modestly slow the disease. Uh, this is really interesting for, I think there's only two major ones uh, that are doing this right now. And what it does is it focuses on breaking up something called amyloid plaque in the brain. And that has, you know, heavily coincides with Alzheimer's. And the idea is that you break this up early on and you kind of uh, abate the disease a little bit. Now, what's super interesting is not really what Eli Lilly did, although it is a very cool drug. Um, but there is this uh, guy, I believe he's a Lebanese American uh, surgeon or doctor. Uh, anyways, one of the big problems you have with treating brain diseases is that when you, when you take drugs, you have the, the blood brain barrier, right? And that doesn't a lot, uh, allow a lot of things to pass into the actual brain. This is really good. Uh, you know, from protecting our brain from pathogens and any other weird stuff in our bloodstream. But it's bad when you're trying to get some life-saving medication in there as well. So this one doctor found out that he can target the patient's skull with ultrasound, blast them with it, and it actually opens up the blood-brain barrier ever so slightly to allow more of this amyloid plaque-destroying disease uh, medicine in. It is super fascinating, suggest looking it up. We have a half day tomorrow. We are off Thursday. Enjoy your 4th of July, and we will see you back Friday. <laughs> see ya.